What's going on guys? Dragast here and welcome back to another episode of BeamNG Drive. Today we're doing a scenario, this one's called Marked Man 1. It's actually based off of a Burnout Paradise event uh, under the same name. You get the job to tow an 800 series back to the dealership for not making car payments. You get to the house, hook up the car, and when you are ready to leave, you get word that the owner called for backup. Bring the 800 series back to the dealership without losing it or damaging your tow truck. Watch out as other drivers are trying to wreck you. So, obviously this guy called in a hitman because we are towing his vehicle. And we gotta make it back to the station in one piece. So, uh, look for checkpoints, yada yada. Only two drivers are chasing you and we have ten minutes. Alright, sounds simple enough. Let's get this thing going and... I'm a little worried. I have no idea where these guys are and I also don't know how to get to the area that was on that map, so we obviously can't go very fast here, because this thing is not tied down Holy, Oh, shit! Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, okay, let's just relax for a second game. Uh, oh, that's a ditch. Alright, slowly make my way over the ditch, there we go, and we got the cars coming towards us. Oh, great, okay, so we just gotta avoid this guy, whoop, there we go. And I hope I'm going the right way, I wasn't even looking for checkpoints, I was just trying to get to the road, so we might be going the total wrong way here. Uh, it says checkpoint one out of two, though. All right, I am definitely slower than him. I, I, I can't even look behind me right now. We're just gonna go through the forest here. Hopefully something will happen over here and hopefully this guy doesn't catch up to me because I think he's like, yeah, he's right behind me. So let's, let's actually slow down. Maybe he'll run right into me. Yep. Oh God. Oh no. Okay. A little too hard. Damn it. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. And this time let's play it smart and, you know, follow this dirt trail to a perfect road over here. That would be much smarter. Do I see... I'm not seeing any checkpoints though, so I really gotta look at that map before we start here just to see kind of the direction we need to go. Oh god, I can see the guy in front of me. Uh, I think we're gonna take a shortcut here. Yep, definitely taking a shortcut. See you later, sucker! Alright, stay on there, little thing. Oh god. Oh! God damn it! <laughs> Alright, I am not a good tow truck driver. Alright, looking at the map, I know there's a river we need to cross and there's only one bridge. Now, it's to the left of us, so obviously these checkpoints are going to be spread around quite drastically here. I'm gonna stick to the road here and see if I can avoid this guy, so here you go. Come run right at me, bro. There you go. Oh, 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 yeah! Just a little love tap, no big deal. Ooh, ooh. I think they hit each other. Oh god, yeah, they definitely hit each other. One of the chasers is off us now, so that's good. I think we gotta go, oh god, oh, I think this way. Alright, so this guy, uh, how am I gonna get this guy off me? Because he's obviously way faster than me. I think we're going the same way as we were before. Alright, as long as he doesn't, like, pit me or anything, I should be okay with him just bumping me in the back a little bit. As long as I keep my speed up, it won't be so bad. So we're just gonna go down this road. Uh, oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Let's just try and push that car up a, bit, a little bit. It's not pushing up. Oh, God. Oh, careful. Oh, okay. It is definitely cliffhanging right now. This is not safe, but I don't got a choice. Okay, turn and try and put it back on, maybe. Nope, not working. Oh, I think he hit something, so maybe... Can I actually stop for a second and maybe try and push this thing back on me? Uh, how I'm gonna do that, I don't know. I think I'm gonna try and push it into a tree. Oh, 37% damage. 65, Jesus! All right, well, clearly, love tapping a tree with a car is going to destroy the damn thing. It's still hanging on here, and I think we got rid of the criminals, so that's good. Now we just need to figure out how to get back without making this thing fall off. All right, there's the bridge. There's the checkpoint. At least I know the direction we need to go now, and let's go nice and slow on this turn especially. Uh, any right turns are going to be bad. Oh, there is two bridges. I didn't notice the other one. All right, but that checkpoint over there is where we need to go, so let's just have a nice little stroll through this city here. Uh, did I go the wrong way already? No, it looks like this road can turn right as well, so we should be okay here. Oh, man, it is really weighing down the back end, though. This thing is, is just holding on to this thing. I'm actually impressed with how long it stayed on. Uh, this is also a really nice little city here. I'm liking this map. I've done this map a few times. I don't know which one it is off the top of my head, but I want to come back to it now and check it out some more. Wait, was that it? Oh, that is it! Okay! Good thing I noticed the little zone, so... Oh, oh, just, just, just don't go... stop too much. There we go. Nice and slow. We don't need to rush this now. There we go. And the thing didn't even fall off. Yeah, look at that! Alright, it's not coming to you perfect, but it's coming to you at least intact. There we go. Did we do it? 
Is that all we needed to do? That wasn't too bad. Yep, there we go. We had a success in 3 minutes and 12 seconds. And it's been a while since we've done some racing in BeamNG, so I thought it'd be fun to do an RC race here. So we got a 17 car RC race. The great thing about RC cars is they're not going to be as leggy as other cars, so you can have a much bigger class race. Now we're on Wrong Turn Raceway again. This was the Destruction Derby racetrack. We might go back to in this episode, uh, I'm thinking about, because a lot has been added to this uh, track as well as the races. Holy crap. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we're all pretty much the same car. I am taking out absolutely everybody here. This is this is quite literally a clusterfuck. Uh, but yeah, this thing is absolutely awesome. It is so quick, as an RC car should be, and as you can see, it's... Oh, oh, what the hell just happened to me? Okay, I think I just exploded my car. All right, let's try that again. God, people just... Everybody is fucking crazy in this month. Like, look at this. Stop, guys. Can we just get along for a second here? All right, I'm doing a bit better this time, so I don't think we're going to have the perfect run, so we got to take what we can get here. Oh, man, we are going so fast. Okay, I'm slowing down. It's just because these things are so damn light and agile. It is absolutely crazy. All right, I think we're doing a bit better, though. I have no idea what place I'm in. Oh, slow down a little bit. I think there's only a few ahead of me, though. Let's see if we can get a good placement going here. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm not used to how light these things are. I mean, I've played BeamNG so much, but RC cars have just come out, and it's, it's just a much different experience. I do like that they're actually RC cars, though, and not just, you know, smaller versions of ordinary cars. You can see the engine in there, the battery. I mean, it's got everything an RC car should have, and uh, they do work remarkably well. So I'm thinking these are the top two here, and I'm feeling pretty good about getting a good spot here. All right, take this turn a bit tight. There we go. First place guy, get the hell out of my way, and... As long as we can hold this for two more laps, we should be okay. Oh, man, that cross-section, though, is going to get interesting with 17 cars. All right, I love how I get air on all these bumps, too, just because of how light and agile this thing is. Ooh, ooh, a little bit of uh, oversteer there, but we're okay. Everything's good. Uh, the handling on this for, you know, being in a little RC car is actually remarkably impressive. All right, going through the intersection. Holy shit, that scared the hell out of me to the point where I spun out. Uh, thankfully, I seem to be quite a bit ahead, so we're okay. Uh, almost had a really bad collision there, though. Oh, God, that's always scary. Especially with 17 cars, it's even worse. I think the last time we played on this track, it was only six cars uh, with the ordinary vehicles, obviously. So, a little bit more. All right, checkpoint 14 out of 14. Is that it? Did I just finish it up? Nope. Okay, we have one more lap to do. There's a car that's flipped. Actually, the AI in this one is uh, really smart as well. I've only seen one flipped car, and that was it. All right, through the intersection. Totally fine that time. I think we got to go through once more. We are on the start of this lap. Uh, man, this is actually a really long race with these little RC cars. It's looking like I might actually lap someone. Oh, God, no, my car is... I don't know what's going on with my car. Is it just me, or is my car acting differently? All right, but yes, there we go. We got the last place, guys, coming up. Oh, man, I am... I am... Oh, this thing's getting hard to drive for some reason. All right, but no pain, no gain. Sorry, dude, didn't mean to hit the last place. Oh, God, I hope the guy doesn't overtake me now. I have heard someone behind me, so... Someone's really close to me, but... There's the checkpoint, I think, and we are done. Yeah, there we go. Anytime now. There we go. Okay. I was like, do I have to do another lap? That was rough. All right, and there's one more RC race I thought we would try because uh, this is really fun having a lot of opponents to race. Uh, that's something that's not very common in BeamNG. So, we are at the Garrison Auto Park RC race now. Like about the same amount of RC cars, by the way. I have no idea why they're sideways, but they should be able to turn, yes, just fine. So, uh, here we go again. Actually, yeah, it's looking like there's maybe even a few more than last time here. Uh, oh, man, I, I just destroyed that guy. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, dude. All right, let's start this puppy up, though, and see how fast we can get it. All right, these guys are way too slow. Go, dude! There's a throttle on the right side. I don't know why you're hitting the left side. All right, let's try this again, though. Ooh, man, a little bit of jump there. That's a little dangerous. Those guys got screwed over, and now we can make this baby purr and not worry about the opponents. Jesus! Oh my god, okay, wow, that is that is aggressive. All right, maybe we shouldn't take the jump so damn fast, but I do gotta pass first place dude here, and oh, I'm, I'm loving these RC cars, man. They're just so nimble. Woo! -hoo! Oh shit, oh shit, oh, okay, okay, we're okay. Totally fine. The great thing about RC cars is they're light, and they can do things like that. There we go. 
All right, let's try and get a good drift going on here, though, so we can keep our speed up around this corner. Dude, get out of my way. I got things to do. Oh, oh, a little bit too much of a drift. There we go. We're okay, though. God damn it, this guy. <laughs> to be fair, I'm all over the road. I, I, I can't drive these things for shit, so uh, it's probably my fault more than his, but there we go. We did it. Got first place again, and I can focus on just trying to get as far ahead as possible. Oh, my God. Okay, clearly I'm hitting these turns way too fast. Uh, thankfully, we keep landing on our wheels. We still got half a race to do, so this is actually a much more difficult track just because of these bumps. Uh, these bumps are absolutely crazy. This one I know is really bad, so we're going to slow down there. There we go. And, yeah, it looks like a lot of my opponents aren't doing so well now. It looks like that one's actually damaged. There we go. Uh, but yeah, most of the enemies, or opponents rather, are totally flipped. I almost went into the water there. Alright, this should be a little easier with this little nimble car. We need to see the ground terrain so I know how fast I can go. That was a little bit better that time at least. But we are picking up some serious speed here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm drifting this whole turn, man. This is, this is crazy. I'm still drifting. Like, still. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Oh, a little bit of a flip there. Please land on my wheels. There we go. No big deal. And doing more drifting. I am just, I am putting the pedal to the metal on this little thing and giving it all she's got. There's an opponent that's still alive. Oh, yeah. This is my favorite turn. I can drift the whole thing. Look at that. Ah, oh, that is, it is just such a good feeling. These RC cars are really well done. What are we on? Checkpoint nine on nine. Oh, I think I just won then. There we go. Not too shabby. I, I am, I'm doing good at these RC races. I thought it just said 9 out of 9. Now it's at 6 out of 9, so I am clearly totally wrong with my uh, checkpoints here. We still got a little bit to go. Thankfully, I didn't destroy my car yet, so we're doing we're doing okay. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. That, uh, no! Are you serious? Oh, oh, we're okay. Okay, I thought we were on checkpoint 9 out of 9, and I thought we were landed on our hood there, and we weren't going to be able to get up. So that, that But we did it. Success once again, and about four minutes once again. Alright guys, we're gonna wrap up this episode of BeamNG here. I hope you guys enjoyed just checking out some of the new scenarios that have popped up as of late. Had a great time with this one, the RC cars are very fun, and the first one, although a little easy, uh, it's always fun trying to outrun some, you know, criminals. So as always guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.